coming up on Vision TV. How NG's music department is keeping its respiratory system in check. Even through a pandemic, the theater department is making some joyful noise. What will life look like on campus after our Thanksgiving break? And learn how one NGU student has overcome difficult obstacles in her college career. It's up next on NGU Vision TV. Hello and welcome to Vision TV News. I'm Bethany Fowler. And I'm Spencer Sissel. COVID and classes still top our news this week. For many students across the country, this week is the end of the semester. But North Greenville students will be returning after Thanksgiving break to finish out the semester. And school leaders are giving us some extra safety flexibility. President Jean Fant says when we didn't have a surge in COVID cases after Labor Day and fall break, it gave them the confidence to come back in person. However, the school is allowing students who don't feel safe returning after Thanksgiving break to go online for the remainder of the semester. He said we should all play it smart as we head home. Just be careful and be cautious. Uh, we really want for people to have fun and to enjoy their breaks, but we also want them to really uh, use some circumspection and wisdom as they're doing that. Fant says the goal for this semester and the spring semester is to give the students as much normalcy as possible. No doubt Thanksgiving is going to be a little different this year, and the Turkey Day commute is no exception. Just in time for the holiday, COVID cases in America have reached over 250,000. Thanksgiving weekend is the busiest travel weekend of the year, but Center for Disease Control recommendations may change that in 2020. New CDC guidelines suggest people have at home or virtual family gatherings for the holidays. If families do decide to travel, the CDC suggests they social distance and wear masks. We've said it all semester, COVID changes everything, and it's especially true for classes in the performing arts. North Greenville University's music faculty found they could build a wall and keep the music playing. It's normal to hear music in the fine arts building, but it isn't normal to see it behind a plastic drape. The drape, also known as the bubble, is the new part of North Greenville University's COVID-19 protocol. Professor Seth Killen said COVID-19 wasn't going to stop face-to-face -face learning. So we started looking into ways that we could continue to make music uh, during the pandemic. The only way to continue teaching unmasked and in person was through the bubble. I thought if we separate our spaces entirely, then everyone can be unmasked and we can carry on mostly normally. Student and musician J.P. Wainick said, the bubble took some time to get used to. It's really, really weird uh, first time that we went into it, but uh, I guess we're trying to get used to it now. It's Even in his own space, Wainick said the experience is invaluable. The faculty say with the new measures in place, only two students asked to go virtual for the 2021 school year. Whether masked up in the classroom or unmasked in the bubble, the goal for the music department at North Greenville University is to continue face-to-face -face learning. Department faculty say they're thankful for the bubble and will keep using it in the spring. And North Greenville University is continuing to see stable numbers of positive COVID cases on campus. According to the latest update of COVID cases on NGU campus, we've seen four new active cases within residents on campus, six active cases within our commuters, and two Tigerville campus employees have also tested positive. Cases remain under 1% active on campus and 117 residents have recovered. Now let's take a look at COVID-19 numbers in Spartanburg, Greenville, and in South Carolina. Greenville County leads the state with 187 confirmed cases as of Monday. In Spartanburg County, 84 new cases were confirmed. The South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control announced 1,095 new cases in South Carolina and five confirmed deaths. According to DHEC, since November the 1st, between 18% and 21% of COVID cases have come back positive. Here's more Vision TV still ahead. See how NGU's theater department is handling the pandemic. 
and how are NGU student athletes preparing for their upcoming season? Hannah Pearson gives us insight. What if there were a place that you could distinguish yourself, where you could prepare for what you want to do and who you want to be? North Greenville University, Christ makes a difference. What is college? What is North Greenville University? It's connecting. It's growing. It's learning. It's serving. It's preparing. It's laughing. It's loving. It's pushing yourself to the limit. It's living with a difference. It's living with a difference. It's living with a difference. It's North Greenville University, where Christ makes the difference. Welcome back to Vision TV. This weekend, NGU's theater department demonstrated that the show must go on even in a pandemic. Tucked away on the campus of North Greenville University is the Billingsley Theater where the theater majors are not letting the coronavirus stop them from doing what they love. It was really interesting once we took the masks off because it kind of changed the whole dynamic of the show. And we all stayed masked during all of the rehearsals. Here at the Billingsley Theater, cast and crew are doing whatever it takes for the show to go on. And to say it was a hit was an understatement. I was so proud and so pleased with how this production turned out. Set design that we came up with um, was fairly spread out. We had four boxes, like opera boxes, and then a main stage area, which represented not only the, the opera boxes of the 18th century, but also kind of looked like Zoom boxes. We created handheld face shields for the actors to use during the singing portions because we know that singing is kind of a super spreader activity. In rehearsals, practicing the songs, we didn't have the face shields yet, so we had our masks and we just kind of had to hold them out so they wouldn't fall off our face. So we created these shields for the actors to hold while they were singing and to protect them and the audience members. While this production is over, that is not stopping the theater department from looking ahead to the future. I'm so thankful that the theater department was able to put on Joyful Noise this weekend. Yes, it was great seeing them so busy. And now to sports. Hannah Pearson is here, and we are warming, wondering to know how NGU sports teams are practicing for their upcoming seasons. That's right, Spencer. Practice definitely isn't, isn't being held in the same way. Merritt Morgan learned how NGU's tennis team is hitting the tennis court, masks, and all. COVID-19 has served a top spin to the year 2020, but North Greenville University's men and women's tennis teams are still preparing for the start of their upcoming season in the new year. Coach Mark Smith says, The number of matches that we were allowed to play or the number of play dates uh, was reduced because of COVID. Uh, the NCAA cut that down to 17 uh, playing days. The spring we do have some double headers uh, scheduled as far as out of conference. Times are hard, but this team is working harder than ever to pull off a great season in the spring with COVID-19 restrictions and regulations put in place. Senior player Alex Kostka says, The hardest part for me during this pandemic was to be on court and play with the mask because this is something that was completely new to me. A good experience just to learn about like how to play when you can barely breathe. Even though COVID has put a spin on things, NGU's tennis team is hard at work for their upcoming season. I've been preparing very hard. I want also my teammates to have like an amazing experience. Looking forward to their short and dear upcoming season this coming spring, North Greenville's both men's and women's tennis teams are ready to step out onto the court to compete more than ever. We hear a lot about the new normal and adapting to the ever-changing environment. North Greenville's women's volleyball team has done and will have to continue doing just that. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, their season has been pushed back to the spring of 2021. This upcoming season will include strict protocols by the NCAA to ensure that this team will actually have a season. These protocols include wearing face coverings, regular day-to-day -day COVID screenings, and sanitizing equipment. For sophomore Jordan Pract, following these strict and safe protocols is a must in order to have the season her and her teammates are looking for. Playing again is going to be our like, favorite thing since we haven't been able to compete um, like we did last year. Until then, these ladies are working harder than ever to prepare for when the time comes when they can step back on the, port, on the court. 
Just like volleyball, all of our Crusader athletes are eager to start and eager to get back playing again. Yes, and I'm so thankful that the NCAA is doing what they need to do for them to have a season. And there's still more ahead when we come back, find out how one NGU student is navigating classes, COVID, and the daily grind. And keep showing up no matter what the challenge. It's next on NGU Vision TV. What if there were a place that you could distinguish yourself, where you could prepare for what you want to do and who you want to be? At North Greenville University, we offer you more than just a degree. You'll have the opportunity to grow your faith, develop relationships with new friends and faculty, and serve others while experiencing a vibrant student life. North Greenville University, Christ makes a difference. Going to college for most students is hard work, but semester by semester, we press on. But Rachel Daniel introduces us to one of our peers who considers college her greatest accomplishment. It's like any other day at North Greenville. Students going to class, hanging out in the stud, or getting Chick-fil-A. But for some, a normal day at college may look a little different. First time we pulled kind of in front of like the Hayes Ministry Center and I saw that huge hill, I turned to my mom and I was like, this was not a good idea. Meet NGU sophomore Grace Myers, who suffers from cerebral palsy, a disability that affects more than 17 million people globally. My body kind of reminds me of a toddler's. My balance and my muscle tone and my movement, my coordination is off. So basically, it's just kind of slower and uncoordinated, kind of like a new toddler learning to walk. Hi. So we're on the way back to the mass comm suite. We'll be there like- But having cerebral palsy hasn't stopped Grace from living life to the fullest. I always wanted to do something with people and with like communicating and just like storytelling. And she found it through writing. I had one of the world's best English teachers and she um, showed me that writing didn't have to be boring. Grace landed an internship with Adoption Choices of Oklahoma, writing for their blog. And being adopted herself, she felt that this was her way of giving back. Most of my content is geared towards birth mothers considering adoption. For now, Grace is rolling into the new adventures of being a college student and considers college her greatest accomplishment in life. I didn't know if college was gonna be a reality. And like, I knew I was smart enough for college, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to physically achieve this. Grace hopes to prove to society that people with disabilities can live a normal life and wants people to know to not be afraid to approach her to ask questions. Reporting in Tigerville, South Carolina, I'm Rachel Daniel with Vision TV. I'm so glad to see that Grace is reaching towards the stars and going after what she wants. Yes, it's definitely great. It warms our hearts. Mm -hmm. Well, that will do us for this edition of Vision TV News. Be sure to check out NGU Vision Online for news throughout the week. I'm Spencer Sisson. And I'm Bethany Fowler. For everyone working this newscast, thanks for watching.